Welcome back everyone to the Thrash Metal special. This is going to be part two of the three. In part one you have seen my top 20 to 11, so this is going to be my top 10 favorite Thrash Metal records. Yeah, this is just like my favorite records of Thrash Metal. It's not like a best of list or the best. This is just records that mean the most to me. You know, there are some good shit in here, but also some doubtful records that maybe to you are way too high up in a top 10 list, but this is my personal list. So these are the thrash metal records that I have enjoyed the most. As you saw in the previous video, the top 20, those records were in no particular order, but these are really from 10 to one. So let's go. Number 10. Stankard, The Meaning of Life. This is their record from 1990, yes. Stankard is a, not really a serious thrash metal band. They sing all about beer and partying. But these guys can shred and there are really fun songs on this record. And I had a really, really fun time when I used to listen to this record. So, um... If you've seen the previous video, you might think like, well, some records from there are better than this one. And you're right, you're right. But it's also the good time I had when I listened to this record. So that's why it's number 10 in this list. Very cool. It's an original noise record. Noise, yes, noise. Nice. Tanker, the meaning of life, number 10. Number 9 is Creator. Pleasure to kill. Man, this is one fucking amazing thrash metal record. From day one when I saw this record, I absolutely loved the cover art. It's so, so good. It's it's perfectly shows what this record is. Um, I think this is an original. Yeah, also a nice original. Nice. This record is from 1986 and man, for its time, it's it's a brutal one. I really had a hard time, well, quite a hard time getting used to this record, especially the title track, Pleasure to Kill. Um, sometimes even right now when I listen to that song, I really gotta concentrate to focus on the drums because they're so quite fast and odd. I don't know, I, I really had a hard time getting used to this record, but man, it's such a good one. It's so heavy. You have lead guitarist and vocalist Mill, which is doing a fantastic job with the vocals, very raspy, but also the drummer Ventor, yes. There are some songs in here where he, as the drummer, sings as well. Like, I think my favorite song of this record is Ride of Violence. And he sings on that as well, which is a kind of a more deeper, raspy vocal, but it's it's just fantastic. Fantastic record and an absolute classic. Number eight, also a classic, is Exodus Bonded by Blood. This is probably the one and only Exodus record that I absolutely love. And that is mostly because of Paul Bailoff's vocal duty. On this record he is just one of my favorite thrash metal vocalists so brutal so chaotic so harsh this is a fantastic record fantastic classic thrash metal songs on here piranha um, strike of the beast just fantastic stuff bonded by blood lesson in violence metal command man this is just such a good thrash metal record and I had Really such a good time listening to this one. It really deserves a spot in my top 10. Number 8. Number 7. Number 7 is Hathen. Heathen. Hathen. Breaking the Silence. And this record is also very special to me. This is a reissue from 2000 something. Back on Black, doesn't matter. Fantastic record. The vocalist is more on the high end. Very, very good stuff. Very good vocals. And that is one of the reasons why I love this record so much. 
just the delivery it's it's almost like power metal kind of stuff it's agent steel but but more thrash metal you know it has those melodies and just it's so good my favorite song on here definitely is goblins blade just such a good song love this record it's number six how hard it is to count 10 records but yeah number six <clears throat> dark angel darkness descends this is also one a hell of a brutal record it's a classic one also from 1986 i think that was like one of the best years for thrash metal period fantastic record so brutal and that this is not just ordinary dumb thrash metal they, they these these guys knew what they were playing and they played so good so aggressive i love this record and then we have the top five my top five favorite thrash metal records from canada this is razor with evil invaders from 1985 i just love these guys the way they are like this anti-poser kind of image um, a thing going on you know but this is really an aggressive record it's kind of speed thrash some people call it but for me it's just a thrash metal record and it's their best as well some people think um, violent restitution of razor is their best record which I would not disagree with but to me personally there are so much fun songs on here which really like I said in the beginning, this record has special connections for me, which is why I love it so much. And there's just so many fun songs on here, like Cross Me Fool, Evil Invaders, Iron Hammer, Cutthroat, um, Speed Merchants. Just Damn, this is such a good shredding record. Fantastic, man. Number four is Centrix. For whose advantage? This is also kind of a, you wouldn't say classic thrash metal record. And you would argue that some of these records that I show are way better thrash records than this one. Which I kind of agree with. Like Pleasure to Kill technically is like a better thrash metal record than this one. But I, I just love this one so much more. It's such a good record. Such a nice record. And this is one of the records... The next one as well, but you'll see that in a second, are um, probably the two thrash metal records that I have spent the most in my life. I was totally obsessed with these two records and this is one of them. I was so obsessed with this record and it's just such a good one. The songs on here, uh, For Whose Advantage, you know, with that bass intro, absolutely great song, False Ideas, um, The Bitter End. Desperate Remedies, uh, just great, great songs on here. This is UK Thrash, which is kind of a late one because this record is from 1990, if I'm not mistaken. Their first one was from 1989. A little late to the party, but still great. Absolutely fantastic record to me. So number three... And this is probably the thrash metal record that I have spent the most hours listening to. This is Assassin, the upcoming terror. And I had a little doubt if I would put this re um, record on number one. Because I have enjoyed it so much, so long. Just I know, or at least knew, I haven't listened to it in a while. But I knew like every single note on this record because I loved it so much. It's... German thrash metal and this is just something like destruction Sodom creator it's so aggressive and raw it's such a fantastic record it's kind of a sloppy one especially if you listen to the vocals they're real they're really aggressive but it's kind of the German thing you know that they speak English but you can't really make out what they're saying because of the German accent which also makes it 10 times better anyway. But yeah, this is such a good thrash metal record. Could have been my number one, but there are two records that I just think are better. But yeah, I've enjoyed this one so much. So good. 
absolutely love this record. Number two, if you have to check out one thrash metal record, then it's gotta be this one. Artillery by Inheritance. And man, this is a perfect record from start to end. No filler, all killer. These guys know what they were doing. They're technical, they're getting more technical, progressive kind of. But the songs on here are fantastic. The musicianship is so good on this record. It's all perfect. This is a perfect thrash metal record to me. And maybe it's not as raw as Darkness Descends or Pleasure to Kill. This one is from 1990. But still, um, this, I mean, the songs are so perfect. They do it all perfect. Vocals, perfect delivery. Everything on this record is perfect. Even the cover art, which is, I just love this one so much. This is also one doubt if it should be number one, but number two for me is a perfect spot for this one. Absolutely love it. And like I said in the previous video, um, I only would pick one record per band and Artillery is also one of them. Their previous record, Terror Squad from 1987, could have been in my top 10 because that record is also so good but you'll see it in part three where i show the rest of the thrash metal records from my collection that i didn't show in this video but yeah if i did not have the rule of one record per band then artillery would then artillery would have been in this list twice but man by inheritance number two absolutely deserves it and then my number one my favorite thrash metal record and that is toxic I think this this record is from 1988 i think they are from east coast us but this also a perfect thrash metal record and there's just something to me something magical about this record it it's probably like the the guitar tone, the guitar work of Just Christian, which is like, he could have easily been like a solo shredder, you know? He is fantastic, he nails all the solos on this record. It's just so good, so incredibly good. Vocalist as well, like on the high end, really high pitched vocals, so good. Um. Yeah, like I said, this record is just magic to me. From starting from the cover art, the Ed Repka stuff, to the songs as well. Um, Greed, you know, with the um, synths going on, really makes it a, just a magic song to me. Spontaneous is my favorite, and man, I have been so addicted to that song. Which is kind of funny. Um, when I first heard this record, you know, you start off a record, you listen from song one and the opening song is the title track, Think This. It starts off with a acoustic guitar, which is really like magic. It's, it's, it's really magic, opens well. But then I had kind of a trouble um, getting used to the song itself, Think This, because it is progressive or technical thrash metal. So it was, it was kind of weird compared to something like Bonded by Blood, which is like raw and primitive, you know. This was tight and technical and I didn't really get it. So I just left this record um, for what it was, like a few weeks or something. And then I just, I just kept staring at the cover art because, you know, on YouTube you see the recommended and this one kept popping up. And I just got hypnotized by this cover art every time. And then I decided to give it a spin again or a listen again. And then I started with the song Spontaneous and that one got me hooked. And since then, I'm so in love with this record. It's so good. There's even a like power ballad on this one. There's to the fence, but everything on this one is good. Black and white is good. Um, in God is good. Shotgun logic. 
this to me is really my favorite thrash metal record. I love it so much. It's so good. I have great memories of this record. Just deserves the number one spot to me. So this was quite a long video, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the seeing my top 10 favorite thrash metal records. Let me know below what's your favorite. I'm kind of curious to hear that from other people. <coughs> so yeah, there will be a part three of the thrash metal special where I show the rest of the thrash metal records that did not get a mention in the first two videos. So I hope to see you guys in part three as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.